Hey, need some help? Bring it in, gentlemen. Let's go over a few things before we get started. Our goal today is to fine-tune our transition defense. We gotta limit easy scores. Let's get into some transition defense work. You got it, you got it, come on, man. Next drill. MP, come on. Hey, hit me up. Way to finish strong, guys. Make sure you get some shots up before you get out of here.
Here we go. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. And this tour should be a fun one because of the pace these teams play at. It's all about the up-tempo game for them. Right, transition, fast break, the opportunity to be electric every trip down the floor. I will be surprised if the shot clock gets below 10 once tonight. And so the Los Angeles Lakers get the first points of the ball game. Porzingis finds Doncic. Over Westbrook. And Doncic hits it to go. Boy, you cannot leave him alone like that. Good form on the fadeaway jumper. Westbrook passes to Olsen. He dishes it to LeBron. There's the pick. The kick out to Westbrook. Passes it to LeBron. It's good from long range. James has got five. Now this is where you'd like the play to end up, right? LeBron James in rhythm off the catch. And here's Doncic from the arc. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now, here's Howard. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Yeah, there's the competitive fire of LeBron getting those three points right back. Always quick with an answer. Burke with it. He's guarded by Olsen. And here's Doncic from the arc. Another three for Dallas. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Again, Los Angeles. Poor design there defensively. They know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. It's good. This guy has been elite as a passer since he entered the league. He takes pride in making the guys around him better. Olsen passes to LeBron. Nice D from Porzingis. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. And Kevin, everybody's dissected Luka's offensive game, trying to find that weakness. And I'm just here to tell you, I don't think he has it. Now, here's Burke. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. For Los Angeles, they've gone four or five from the field so far. And that one's good by Davis. And the play of Doncic drawing comparisons to so many all-time greats. But Greg, the one that stood out to me, they said he's a combination of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. What do you think? And it just makes... First free throw of the game. And so he hits both. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to talk with Frank Vogel for just a minute. He was effusive in his praise for Luka Doncic, particularly citing his strength for such a young age. Coach said he can convert through contact. He's hard to back down in the post and he's an excellent rebounder. Their goal, or maybe their hope, is to match his physicality. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. And here is Burke after the three-pointer from Olsen. And it'll be the man. Tough one. They expected to play well and did, just not well enough. You know what? In the end of the day, it wasn't as close as it should have been. There were lapses all night that led to the deficit they couldn't overcome. Porzingis finds Doncic. Burke with it. Shot clock at six. He's now one for two with that bucket. Los Angeles leading by four. Here's Westbrook. Porzingis with the rebound. 
And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. Well, you have to believe the coaching staff made that a point of emphasis. Better aggressiveness, better intensity on the backboards. And here is Burke following Russell Westbrook's three. Burke can't get it to go. The Lakers have gone 8 of 10 shooting, coming out very strong. They set the pick. Here's LeBron. That one goes in. James has got 10. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Now, here's Burke. He's guarded by Olsen. Burke kicks to Doncic. Back to Burke. A three ball. Hardaway with a wide open look. Connects from three point range. Well, Tim Hardaway Jr. is known as a scorer. Knocks down the long distance look right there. Olsen passes to Davis. From downtown, and again Los Angeles with the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Porzingis with an average of around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been a constant for them. The pass to Hardaway. There's the dish to Doncic. Over Westbrook. Porzingis trying to get free. Doncic no good. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. And it's lights out with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Anthony's checked in for the Lakers. Brunson finds Kleba. Now Doncic, James covering. Five on the clock, and it's lights out with the foul. That's foul number two. The serious foul trouble early in this game. And the Mavericks making a change here. Brown's checked in. Now here's Brunson. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. And that one's good. Doncic. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Olsen passes to Anthony. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. Westbrook against Brunson. Doncic right side. Over LeBron. Westbrook pulls it in. Lakers leading by 10. For the three. And another three for the Lakers. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Doncic passes to Brunson. Back to Doncic. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. To the paint. Here's Anthony. And it's blocked by Brown. Brunson against Westbrook. Brunson the pass to Persingas. Tips it. And James pulls it down. And here is Los Angeles now. They lead by 11. The shot's good from Olsen. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell-shocked. Burke, the pass to Brunson. Now, here's Burke. Tight defense on him. The, the incredible length of Davis uses it to perfection to come up with the block. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Here's Brunson. Following the basket by Russell Westbrook. On the wing, Doncic. Covered by LeBron. Six on the shot clock. Doncic kicks to Burke. Launches a three. And James pulls it down. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Westbrook. It's rebounded by Dallas. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Anjic passes to Brunson. 
Back to Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. Consistent, rightly scoring in the league. Just that. And so it's none with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. It's off to Utah for him after this game as they take on the Jazz. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So the Lakers five right now. LeBron and Davis, the dynamic forward pair. Kendrick Nunn out there with lights out. And it's Jordan in at the five down low. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers winning their last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Got a piece of it. To the left wing. This one for three. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Lakers leading by 16. Olsen passes to Davis. Out to the wing. Here's none. And the three off target. Dallas has gone over two from deeper in the second. Pass to Kleba. Here's Brunson. He's coming off a 16-point game against Utah. And don't forget the sensational plays he made out there. He saw the court so well, firing perfect passes to teammates for wide open shots. Well, more and more you see big men working on the outside shot, and this guy has one of the better ones in the league. Beyond the arc. None can't get it to fall. Mavericks trail by 13. Now here's Brunson. On the wing, Hardaway. James covering over to the left wing. Stolen by none. Olsen passes to LeBron. All sorts of time, and he knocks down the jumper. James has got 15 points. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Brunson scanning the floor. Dishes it to Hardaway. Over LeBron. LeBron grabs the miss. LeBron's got four rebounds now tonight. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings. The most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. Check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. Hey guys, lights out in their last game against the Pelicans lit or. He dropped in 34 points and seemed to pick apart the defense all night with a ton of assists. The stat line was filled and the whole league is talking about it. We'll see what he tonight, Kevin. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Well, there's no doubt. He certainly looked like he was enjoying himself in that last game. He had his offense flowing. Here's Persinga. And they'll get another chance. And the rejection by James. Wow, LeBron James sit back emphatically. Good perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. Great hustle defensively. First half. In for DeAndre Jordan. Here's Burke, rejected by Olsen. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he find his rhythm and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. And they get it back. Howard, the pass to Olsen. 
Davis in the corner. Just five to shoot. Pass to Olsen. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Now Burke trying to get something going. Can't hit that one. Great D that time from Howell. James left side. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. LeBron's got eight here in the quarter. Uh, he's his rhythm for can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Howard with the steal. Westbrook on multiple occasions has averaged double-digit assists. You know he knows exactly when to deliver the pass. Get him out, get him out. Outside Hardaway. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Kleba against Davis. Lock at six. Persingas passes to Brunson. From deep. The Lakers with the rebound. LeBron's got his sixth rebound on the night. The pass to Olsen. Kleba against Davis. James looking around. Olsen passes to James. Offline with his three. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Here's Burke. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And that's now six points for Trey Burke. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Westbrook passes to Olsen. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. Westbrook's got his third assist on the night. And what a huge performance for him. I mean, he drained three three-pointers in that first quarter, and he's got two more here in the second. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help them close this gap. Westbrook gets a screen from Olsen. Bounce pass from Westbrook. Davis kicks to James. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Brunson against Westbrook. Pass to Burke. 11 feet away. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. They set the pick. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Brown is checked in for Maxi Kleba. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Carmelo Anthony is checked in for the Lakers. Now here's James. A 23-point game for him in the win against New Orleans. Off-target three-pointer there from Olsen. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Doncic looking it over. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And you can see what he... Giveaway. game from lights out well it didn't take him long to get that double double already has it halfway through the game that takes a level of aggression and a level of focus and he has brought it all night thus far and the post players for him Kleba and Porzingis Burke is out there with Luka Doncic and it's Hardaway in a small forward 
That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Greg, you've got a unique view of the league, not just a former player, but great broadcaster, courtside all these games, but also as a father. What's that journey been like? It's been surreal, Kevin. You know, anytime you have a child that has a passion for something you're passionate about, it creates a special bond. And to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible. And what a blessing. Uh, I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity. Howard. That's Dolson. On the wing, James. Guarded by Hardaway. Porzingis with the block. Seven foot six wingspan sending it back. Kristaps. He's taking it hard on And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Now, here's Burke. He's covered by Olsen. And Hardaway gets it to go. You can see the kind of confidence Hardaway has in his shot. This guy is so fluid in the catch-and-shoot situations. Outside for Davis. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got three assists now in this one. Westbrook against Doncic. And it's lights out with the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Fourth foul of the night. Now he needs to be smart. Can't reach in and pick up something foolish. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Steps back. Hardaway passes to Burke. Just three to shoot. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Burke's got 11 points. What's some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring? And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. There are high school refs better than you guys. Way better. About 75% from the line. Listen, we know Dwight Howard is on the back nine of his career, but he can still be valuable. This guy is capable of a double-double every night. Here's Burke driving inside. No good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Well, operating near the rim has always been a strength of Russell Westbrook. All the physical gifts come to bear. Burke looking over the floor. Doncic outside. Porzingis sets the pick for Doncic. And it's lights out with the foul. That will be foul number five. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Kristaps Przingis is returning to form after his knee surgery. He says, making sure it's strong and stable is nonstop work, but I'm feeling better, and I have confidence that I can go out there and play freely. His offense has been great. It's the defensive end that he's still getting right. Well, we know he can be a presence DA, and I think eventually he's going to be what he wants to be. Thank you. And the Lakers have possession. Following Willie Cauley-Stein's three-point attempt, Monk, the pass to Olsen. He kicks to Carmelo. From outside the arc, Mavericks with the rebound. Cauley Stein's got seven rebounds in the game. And there's the drive. Burt can't get it to go. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get him. Because he's struggling. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They can look forward to the Cavaliers after this game in a matchup against Cleveland. That sets in motion a four-game road trip for them. Here's Burke. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. Anthony against Brown. Anthony off a pick from Olsen. Feeds it to Jordan. Passes to Olsen. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Brunson. No good from Olsen. 
and it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. And it's the Mavericks with the ball after the miss from Olsen. Brunson kicks to finish Smith. Here's Cauley Stein, and it comes off the front of the rim. Los Angeles has gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Here's Olsen, and it's blocked by Brown, and they'll keep possession. Now, here's Monk. Brunson covering. Lopez passes to Monk. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Shots good from Olsen. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. Now here's Brunson. He's guarded closely. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And the shot goes down. And that's 13 points for Trey Burke. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Now here's Anthony. He's tightly guarded. Sinks the three-pointer. 25 points for lights out. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's the pass to Cauley Stein. And here's Brunson. Unloads from 13. And that one goes long. Outside Anthony. Let's the three fly. And another three for the Lakers. You know, you can tell the three-point shot is something that Melo has developed over his course of time in the league. And so it's LeBron James. Very different performance. Zinkis, he's checked in for Marjanovic. Maxi Kleba comes in for Cauley Stein. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Brown. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Reggie Bullock. And then for Los Angeles, Trevor Ariza's checked in for Lopez. And lights out subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. So with Westbrook on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. Trevor Ariza out there with DeAndre Jordan. And there's Monk. Then there's lights out. And it's Ellington in at the small forward position. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Here's Olsen. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Lights out's got 27 points. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. Yeah, good call. Get that bucket, that. he ceases a 14-0 run by the Lakers. Jones checked in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And the Lakers also making a switch. White Howard's checked in for Jordan. Olsen passes to Howard. On the wing, Ellington. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Dallas has gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Here's Doncic. Dwight Howard grabs the board. Howard's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Doncic passes to Persingas. Doncic kicks to Brunson. And Doris, I know you dealt with a tough injury in your time as a player, but a lot of these careers being saved now by the advances in medicine. Kevin, think about it. Torn ACLs historically, going back 20 years, drastically changed what we believed was the ceiling for players. Now a torn ACL may only prohibit a player from playing for 8 to 12 months. That's drastically different. You're seeing stars like LeBron take care of their bodies, invest in what they know is the money maker for them. Listen, this medical progress, this improvement in nutrition and caring for your body has changed the equation on the length of careers. Here's lights out. 
Following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis. Outside, Jones. And here's Doncic from the arc. Monk grabs the board. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And it's good, two points. And that's now 29 points for lights out. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Doncic, no good. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Count it good. 31 points for lights out. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. The three for Doncic. Good on the three-point shot. Boy, picking up where he left off. His second from distance this half. Five overall. And it's Ariza in the corner. Ariza gets a screen from Olsen. And Maxi Kleba is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Doris, there's much argument over how the MVP award should be decided. Whether it's stats, time on the floor, the intangibles, with a winner, with a loser. What criteria do you use when you vote on that award? Well, there's so much that goes into this because, number one, how skilled are you? You have to be one of the most skilled players in the league, in my estimation. Number two, how much do you influence winning? But the fact of the matter is most MVPs finish in the top two or three in their respective conferences. So that's another criteria. I'm just going to say this to you. I will actually poll NBA players as I come across them in the season talking about these awards, these first, second, third team all NBA, because they're the guys lining up opposite and know what goes into what these guys do. Now here's Ellington. And they recover it. Here's Howard. Lays it up off the glass. His entire career, Dwight Howard has been an absolute force on the glass. Nice finish. Pass to Burke. From 11 feet away. And the shot falls short this time. The Lakers shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. He got loose from downtown in the first half. Now has three here in the second. Unstoppable. Now here's Burke. Greg, last season, we saw a lot of opinions about the play-in tournament, especially from players. Where did you fall on that? Oh. You got to be kidding. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And nothing is falling for him right now. Here's lights out. Brunson covering. On the wing, Monk. To the wing, right side. On the wing, Monk. Jacks up a three. And another three for the Lakers. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. Boy, just sheer dominance. The ability to step into enemy territory. Great foul call, Red. Perfect. Rick for many years and the young fella showing he might have what it takes to improve on his old man. And that's coming from you who knows a little something about father-son point guard duos. Maybe Cole will have a chance to do the same young sir. Ouch. Cauley Stein he's checked in for Dallas. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Trey Burke. Pass to Persingas. Dallas moving it around. And for top high schoolers, Doris, who want to make a salary instead of going to college, there are now quite a few options. There are, Kevin, and I love it because to me, this is a free market system. So whether you're going overseas, you have the Ignite franchise in the G League. And listen, there may be more options to come, and I think that's a great thing. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Lakers.
You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And you have to love the effort this team plays with night in and night out, win after win this year, and they have earned it. Tonight will make it 62 wins on the year for them. They were really smart in the use of that game plan tonight. Used it in their first two games against this team, which to two wins. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for lights out. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Olsen passes to Carmelo over Porzingis. Anthony can't hit. Now the Mavericks with it. Brunson kicks to Hardaway. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. 26 seconds left to play here in the fourth. On the wing, Ellington. Passes it to Howard. Here's lights out. Just five on the clock. And the Lakers tack on two more spirited performance you love to get this kind of win especially on the road you've got to be able to block out all distractions